Well, hello, and welcome to City Skylines. We are playing Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and we are trying to make a, a city here. Um, we got things started. We obviously, we have our, our neighborhood here, and we have um, another little extension of that neighborhood here. We have some more residential going on here, and then we got some commercial. Obviously, we don't have enough education to really support uh, too much commercial right now, which is why we're seeing these abandoned buildings, um, because there's not enough uh, customers for this one, but there's also just not enough workers, generally. Over here, we're having some issues because we don't have enough services. Um, which services? I'm not sure. But I'm willing to bet it's it's possibly um, things like uh, having mail. It could be that it is needing some public transportation, that sort of thing. But for right now, we are making a profit. And so we don't want to provide too many services because if we provide too many services... We can see there's some traffic backing up here. If we provide too many services, then we're going to go uh, into deficit, and deficit is not where you want to be. Now, I bet you part of the problem is that there's a traffic light right here. Um, you know, we could do one of two things. We could eliminate the traffic light, and I find that uh, in this game, uh, with the way I have things set up, uh, with the mods and what have you, that just eliminating the traffic light will probably solve that problem very quickly but another more nuanced and probably much more realistic way to do it is to time the traffic light so what I'm going to do just for the sake of showing you how to do it is we're gonna go ahead we're gonna time this traffic light see if we can't get this traffic flowing a little bit better because really what's happening is all the people that are living uh oh we got a fire uh oh oh the fire truck just left. I don't understand. There's a fire. Oh, here's another tri fire truck. Okay, good, good. All right, get into that house. Okay, put it. They put the fire out. Good. Okay, so we have enough traffic coverage. We're starting to get some issues because of traffic, probably, with uh, the trash not being picked up. So yeah, we want to work on this. Now, this is not something to take on uh, when you have a lot of different things that you got to do, but. Um, it certainly will help you um, get a more realistic city. And when you have a large city grid, uh, having time traffic lights, you can time them off of each other. And that can really, um, you know, in, in real cities, what they do is they will time one traffic light to, to go based on the other ones so that somebody can conceivably... They're only going to stop once, maybe at a, tr a red light or twice when they're going through the city. And then the rest of the time, they've got green lights because they're going to all cascade into green. And that way, traffic just tends to move smoother. So we're going to try and, and do that. Really, what our focus is on is this right turn. Quite frankly, there's a lot of left turn, though there's not nearly as much traffic for the left turn. Um Another way we we could reduce traffic is a couple different ways. We could also add in a bus route to see um, to get people to work from where they living where they are living. We could also um, extend this uh, pedestrian bike path maybe down the side of this mountain and then straight over to work, and that would also I think help quite a bit. We'll see. Now, let's see. 25% full. They're using all their garbage trucks. I wonder if I needed to uh, focus on getting some more garbage out. They put it under garbage and industry because there's kind of a combo there. But um, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, my garbage processing is woefully low. Let's let's add some processing since we have some profit, we can afford it. Now we're in the green, and I'm going to put one more for good measure, but we're also now in the red. Um, 
and really what that's going to do for us is it's going to give us a lot more garbage trucks. And it's also going to ensure that the landfill doesn't fill up. The landfill is there basically as temporary storage between when it uh, is stored and goes to these um, facilities that process the garbage, turn it into electricity, essentially. Okay, and, and you can see we really got a lot of traffic. Another great way to help alleviate tra this traffic would be to just connect this up um, from the other direction and that would give people two ways to to get to work and it would probably ultimately be the way to go but I want to try and um, show you how to do the tra time traffic light see if we can't fix this for now without adding too much infrastructure so we're using the traffic uh, manager presidential edition uh, 1.10.13 is what I got installed right now and you're basically going to go to the time traffic lights here okay and then you're going to select your node you can select more than one but that's not necessary for this particular demonstration and then um, we're going to set up a time traffic light okay you can add junctions later on so if you didn't do it at the beginning but you want to do it now you can or if you you, you know if later on I, I add some traffic lights uh, down this road or, or something of that nature, um, we, can, we can make everything happen accordingly. Um, but we're going to add a step, okay, and so this is the first step. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put change the lights and even the pedestrian crosswalks to be what you want them to be. So for this step, we want... And it's kind of counterintuitive to me because to me, if I made this green, that means these people go. But really, if I make it this green, it means this people go as far as the user interface goes. A little counterintuitive to me, but that's just how they do it. You notice that the, the street light controls this traffic, even though in real life, typically, the street light would be across the street so that you have some distance. Because people are looking for, they don't always look straight up. I mean... Um, yeah, that's just one little complaint, but um, we're going to turn that on. Obviously, pedestrian crossing here is stopped, and you see everybody is going to stop um, while that's happening. Now, while we have that turned on, we might as well turn this on as well. There's not a whole lot of traffic coming from this direction, and most of the traffic that's coming from this direction is moving straight. It is not trying to turn left, okay? So if there was a lot of people trying to turn left, we might have to uh, rethink things, but... Uh, we're going to just have the traffic go uh, both directions here. Um, and we can also turn on, uh, it says auto, but we can turn on this to where people are definitely going to also be walking this way. But we might want to stop that because we want to, to allow people to turn right. There's a lot of people trying to move, go across the street. It will actually impede traffic from turning right, and that can cause traffic as well. So anyway... Um, a lot of bloviating. I'm going to turn the, the, the speed down as well, especially since I'm losing money precipitously um, with those extra garbage trucks. I, I, I put too many services. I, just like I told you, I put too many services, and that's causing me a problem. Um, but in any case, we want to do a minimum time, and then you got a max time. So typically, I, I'm not going to necessarily use the minimum min time is different than max time unless I, you just have a really really super ultra busy light I don't think this is it so minimum time is one maximum time is going to be what like uh, we'll start with uh, 30 seconds okay and we're going to add that okay and we're going to add another step and this time these are going to turn red and these are going to turn green and that step is going to be We'll do 12 seconds, okay? And then we're going to just tell it to start, and it's just going to go through those two cycles. Uh-oh, bankruptcy, I'm going to accept that. Um, so I got I got I got my first loan, or actually I think that was a bailout. Um, uh, I, I'm going to have to really change uh, how I'm doing things until I got more... Uh, people in the city so I'm going to go ahead and get out of this 
and I'm just going to turn off some of these. Um, so we can go back to making some money. And people will just have to deal with garbage for a while. And it'll take a while for those garbage trucks to return to home anyway. Some major fires going on in the fire station here. And also, you want to, when, when, you, when you do something, you want to kind of leave it on for a little while. Because if you had a bunch of traffic, it's going to take a bunch that traffic some time to clear out, even if you did a great job. So you don't want to be like, oh man, they're still backed up. This is not working because maybe it, it is working and it's just it's going to take some time to clear the backlog. And it looks like it is actually like redu the traffic is reducing generally speaking. So let's just watch it for a little bit and see what happens. Okay, now I I'm, was noticing there was a, a bit of a traffic backlog from here. Okay, I think it's been long enough that we've actually we've shaken out any benefit we're going to have. We certainly have improved the traffic situation here. It's still a bit of a backup. It's still a bit of a pain to turn right. So again, we can fix that a couple ways. The first way I'm going to try is I want to put a, a pedestrian bicycle path that goes from this area on over to um, the, the, the industrial area so that people can work. So that's what I'm going to go start with first. It's probably one of my least expensive ways of doing it. And it's also... Um, you know, I, I like to have really good pedestrian um, pathing, and so it's also going to promote that that pedestrian centric ness that I want to in this city. Now, should I go straight from here, or should I maybe come from the middle here? Um, I think I might come from the middle here. I think that makes a little bit more sense. Um, now, for this, you know. Uh, you can change the landscape. Actually, I'm going to maybe come from right here. Um, obviously, I need to go back and I need to turn a lot of my snapping off. Um, I have This is a different day than the last episode, so I'm kind of starting from new. You know, I, I do like to start from the ground. I would like to try and avoid deleting um, uh, existing buildings if I can. Uh, existing grid if I can. Um, I wonder if there's a different place that I can maybe squeeze it into. Because sometimes you don't need to be all the way over here to for it to connect. Let's see how that does. See, see, it's still connected even though it, it it's got that little about one cell worth of gap. Um, the game is smart enough to say, okay, he wants to connect that there. So now. One of the things about this um, path is it, it always looks better to me when it's elevated, especially when you're going down like a hill or something. Um, so that's one thing I'm going to start with here. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the curviness here. And you want to try and step in a reasonable way so you can always... You know, it's, you don't want too difficult to slope because people are going to have to go back up this thing on bikes and stuff. And, man, that'll, that'll, it, it's, it'll kill your legs. It'll kill your legs. All right. We're just going to kind of wind down the side of this thing. At some point, we'll switch. We'll do a switch back.
really didn't want to eliminate that tree, but um, say la vie, I think that's like the the tree just had to go. So you know, I mean, the the game is certainly capable of just like going straight down, but that's just like said that would be such a gnarly thing that I kind of like to try and keep it uh, stepping down in a relatively benign uh, slope. But and that's that's still, that's a pretty gnarly slope. I I will micromanage this with the movement mod once I'm finished placing it. Because I I find that the Move it mod, micromanaging it is just so much easier to get the result than you want than trying to finagle with this too, too terribly much. And so by placing this path there, that's also going to really, it's going to interrupt this, this regular grid pattern as I expand my city. And, I, and that's a good thing if you ask me. It's also going to um, really shape um, the zones of this section of the city once it expands to here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go, like, if, if you really wanted to promote, to do it cheaply, um, you just stick it to this intersection here or that intersection there, and they would be able to use these crosswalks. But if you want to go even uh, more pedestrian friendly, what you could do is you stick it to the middle. You might put a pedestrian bridge that goes over the road and and extend things out. I don't think I'm going to do that though. I'm going to just uh, stick with sticking it to the intersections here. And so. Coming out from that intersection, I'm not going to be exact or anything, but just to try and um, keep it from being too crazy here. Um, and we're just going to go straight in to there. Bingo. So now we got a nice pedestrian path, and I bet you people are already going to be starting to use it now that there's a connection. Um, or, you know, not. There we go. Now we got people using it. It takes uh, the pathfinding a while to recognize the new path and say, okay, we can use this. And so now I bet you you're going to have a ton of traffic on this thing. So let's go ahead and micromanage uh, with the Move It mod what it looks like. Um, so first of all, I'm going to move this node back uh, just a wee bit. Um, and I'm going to uh, use the even. See, there there used to be an alignment tool, but there wasn't this many. Um, align height, and then you get a. So I clicked on that. I aligned height, and now I'm going to click on what I want to align the height with, and that's going to move up straight to where the other item was. Um, that way, that's now a flat height, and so it's kind of like a landing. Um, and you're gonna, when whenever you have um, ramping like this, you want to put landings uh, every once in a while. Um, it's it's actually uh, I, I I used to do architecture, and when you're doing like ADA, American with Disabilities Act, um, pathing for like a restaurant or any kind of commercial building. Um, you want to, um, and I'm not going to necessarily level it, but I am going to make it a lot less steep for that section here. I might make it a little bit more steep for this section here. So that you're just stepping down and you got a little bit of straightaway and then do another step down. I bet you that can go up a little bit to make that less steep because we got the landing over here. That looks good. Okay, and then I want to have this be aligned with that height. Ooh, that does not look good at all. And that's because, and it's because it's it's attached to the ground. 
So really what I need to do is I need to go to my tool here and kind of even the ground out. So we're gonna go to soften terrain. Um, we're gonna change the brush size to be slightly. And, oh, I don't know what happened there. Um, maybe slope. Yeah, let's try slope terrain. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Looks slightly better. You got a bit of a bank there. And I'm going to leave that as is, but what I am going to go back and do, and I'm going to match that height to this height as well. So that way when you're coming down and that's all more or less the same height. Um, and then this height, th this slope is too steep, so I'm going to reduce that slope height and probably also want to move that over. I don't want to eliminate that thing so we can create more of a curve. I'm going to hold down Alt to have it kind of snap so that it's matching that. And we don't want to, I don't want to eliminate that. And actually now I can move it back down a little bit because I do want a slope, just not so steep. Obviously that uh, roller coaster ride is not going to fly, but we're going to just kind of move it and we're going to reduce that also holding alt to keep it um, as aligned as we can. It's kind of wigging out on me a little bit. And let's move that up a little bit so that it's uh, trying to keep at least a consistent slope. And then it'll be about time for a landing at this point. So that is going to want to match that height. And then it's going to also want to move over quite a bit, I think. I said match that height. There we go. That looks much better. All right. And then this guy is going to want to go up to reduce the slope again. And because we've done that, we're going to move it this way. And then we're going to move it back down. And not only does it look better because it's not just following the randomness of the terrain, but it also looks good in the sense that, um, and I'm going to straighten that out a little bit. Yeah, I like that better. Um, but it's also nice in that it kind of has a light touch on the landscape. Um, and when you're doing any kind of architecture, you want to have a light touch on the landscape. Um, it's just a good design principle if you ask me, and uh, not just me. Uh, trust me, there are plenty of other architectural professionals out there that would uh, tell you the same thing. Maybe this needs to move a little bit closer. Um, just because um, it's, it's about respecting the landscape. Um, respect for the landscape is a kind of a big deal. I'm sorry, I'm getting uh, just slightly distracted by the need to micromanage this and, and think through what I'm doing and not just doing just to do. Now, you see how if I move it too far left or right, it creates a bit of a, a wavy pattern to it. Um, that's because the spline doesn't make sense so it's having to add geometry but when you do it where the spline makes sense it's going to keep it a consistent slope or at least a much more consistent slope there's still a little bit of waviness because you have the curve here um, but uh, you want to try and maintain that you don't want it to be too uh, wavy so that's looking good so far I think 
I do think that this is going to have to swing out over here quite a bit and it's going to have a different curve to it. Um, I also think it's going to need to go up. Oh, I need to select the correct thing. That helps. That helps quite a bit. And it's, it really is about time that we have a, a landing, if you will. Um, and so now that I've done some of this, um, I'm thinking that it might be time to redo some of this because this is starting to look a little bit funky because of all the moving around that I've done. Um, I don't think the landing needs to be that long either. So let's put it like right there and we'll just match the height with this like that. Um, and I think this is going to need to come around more like this. So I'm going to bulldoze that and we're going to redo it. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this particular um, pathway is that with this pathway, um, there is a directionality to it and it's, it's based on, oh wow, that was a, a bit of a glitch, uh, sorry. Uh, there is a directionality to it, and so if I were to, I, I had originally laid it this way, if I were to lay it that way now, um, start here and, and match to there, um, you'll have a, a funky little switching between where the bicycle paths are and the pedestrian path is. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, the game does have an ability to do that with roads, but this path is just not as robust as the roads in that sense. So you just want to be, be paying attention about uh, which direction you're laying it, uh, particularly when you're, you're doing editing like I am. Oh boy. We've touched back onto the ground, and I'm about to eliminate another freaking tree, which is not what I want. But, say la vie. I don't want it to do that, though. I want it to be forced into an elevated stance. So I'm going to eliminate both of those. Not enough money. Oh, because I'm still losing money. Okay, where am I losing my money? I thought I shut down those other plants. So um, let's go and figure out what's going on with my money, first of all. So I got those all bumped up to 11. My budget, where am I losing my money? It's mostly, it seems like oh, there's power, garbage, police, and roads, road maintenance. So, how are we going to pump this up? We might go ahead and, and see about adding. Ooh, and I need a. I need. A, I got a lot of deaths here, so I need to definitely put in. I don't have any money because I'm in negative territory. Definitely gonna have to take out a loan here. So let's see. I can take out the the, the biggest loan. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I normally don't have to do this, but honestly, uh, doing the video, I'm getting a bit distracted. Um, I would, I probably would not have taken the time to like do that uh, timed light and stuff, and uh, if I was just playing uh, on my own, I felt it was important to show you guys. So um, I'm, I'm doing poorly in my management. So let's see if we can figure this out. Um, actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure that out next time. <laughs> so we got a hot mess here, but uh, in the next episode, we're gonna start to try and fix this hot mess. And I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.